Rob Mathis from Precision Measurement Technology. We're here to talk about the remote version of the Talos lightning detector that can detect lightning up to 25 miles away, uh, flashing green, uh, 16 miles flashes blue. Once it gets within a very dangerous area of six miles, it'll start turning red. Um, this is primarily an OEM product, but there are some end users that uh, are, are technical enough to, uh, to install this themselves. Um, so what you're gonna need, you're gonna need the remote housing. Um, it comes in a white, a black, or a clear. Um, and you have to decide how you're gonna mount this thing. If you're gonna be mounted this way, because you want our antenna facing skyward, or maybe you're gonna be mounted up on the roof somewhere, underneath the roof side. So we just need to orient the board uh, the other way. It's all part of it in the ordering code. Um, the other thing you're gonna need is a, is a cable. Uh, comes in various lengths, three foot up to 20 foot is standard lengths. Uh, waterproof connector will connect into here. The other end of the cable will connect on to our, our indicator that will mount behind the, uh, the helm station. Um, again, pretty straightforward. One connector goes in the small one, a bigger connector for the housing. Um, and then you're going to decide on do I want a, a round or a rectangle um, indicator light in the front. Uh, this, the rectangle one is primarily used for rocker switches. Some of it will knock out a pop out a, a rocker switch. This will pop in there and this will snap in the front. But most people choose to do the, the round one because it just requires a three quarter inch hole, drill through there, and on the back side, you just use a, a nylon nut to secure it on the back side. Okay, we're going to talk about the, the splitter cable, the application. Um, this will mount up inside here. This is for applications where you have two, where, you, where it's required that you have two indicator lights. Maybe on, on the upper helm of a flybridge, maybe at the lower helm, or maybe it's on a bass boat. I'll have one up on the bow, and I'll have another one up at the helm. So no matter where I am at on the boat, um, I, I can see my indicators. So again, splitter cable. And your cable will just mount on each end of the splitter cable, which comes up and mounts to the remote indicator. So the first step is going to be where am I going to in, where am I going to put this indicator light? You've already chosen a rocker switch knockout or the, or the more common one, um, the round one. This requires a little three quarter inch hole drilled in your dash, uh, secured with a nylon nut. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to find a good location on, on the dash here of the helm station, uh, drill a three quarter inch hole, uh, and we'll take it to the next step. We went ahead and we drilled our three quarter inch hole through our dash. We have applied the Talos sticker to, as it lights up green, blue, or red. We know exactly how far away that dangerous lightning is. So all we're going to do, we're going to take the, the indicator and we're going to orient it whatever place we want. And we're going on the back side now and we're going to use this nylon nut to secure it to the dash. This is the back side of the helm station and you can see it's all secured with the nylon nut. And it's also very close to the electrical panel and fuses, so it'll be an easy hookup when we connect the cable. Next, we're gonna have to decide where, where we wanna mount the remote housing. Is that some people mount it up behind access points, up and up the hard top between the layers. Um, they'll stick on the side. The thing we wanna, the, the, the care about us on, on locating this is that we want to make sure we're away from any metal that may be overhead, like a, a like a grab bar, as an example. And we also want to make sure it's away from, you know, MFDs, cell phones, anything that can create electrical disturbers to the unit. About 30 inches, we recommend three feet, but around 30 inches uh, is a is a great location space. And you can actually just power this thing up, connect your cables, and move this around to actually find the sweet spot on your particular application. If you do get a disturber, what you'll see on the indicator, and if you have a, a clear or white housing, it'll go green, blue, red, green, blue, red, green, blue, red, three times, indicating, hey, I'm picking up a disturber. Relocate me. Okay, for this installation on this Boston Whaler, I found an ideal spot 
right up here. I've tested it earlier just to make sure we don't have any disturbers, electrical noise giving us false signals. The other thing you want to be careful about when you place this for the placement of this is that make sure it's away from cup holders because people tend to take their cell phone and stick it in the cup holder which will generate electrical noise again which will give you false triggering of the detector. So I found a great spot up here uh, right in front of the windshield uh, and that's where we're going to go. And it's also a very short cable run um, from the indicator up to the, uh, the, the, the remote housing and also very easy access for the electrical power. This is the spot in front of the windshield that I found away from the electrical windshield wiper motor and far enough away from the MFD. So we're going to go out on the bottom side of this and have it mounting skyward. I've got my red and black wire tied to my 12 volt system. So now with, with the indi indicator already mounted, all I have to do is reach up there and this will snap right into place. Now you can see I have the indicator housing connected to the indicator light on the back side. Now we have the TLS unit installed. Let's take a look at what the colors indicate. First you'll notice the yellow flash every minute. This indicates TLS is working and monitoring for dangerous lightning. When the indicator is flashing green every two seconds, this situational awareness means lightning is approximately 25 miles away, which is the distance lightning can strike. The indicator is flashing blue every two seconds. This situational awareness means a lightning strike was detected approximately 15 miles away. When the indicator is flashing red every two seconds, this situational awareness is the most dangerous condition, indicating dangerous lightning has been detected within six miles of your location. Once a lightning strike is detected, the unit will continue to flash the color range for 15 minutes, providing no other strikes were detected. Following NOAA's recommendation, it is now safe to continue your activities. If additional strikes are detected, the 15 minute internal timer is reset. Along with the visual indication, TALUS also provides an audible beep with each lightning strike detected. TALUS also meets the OSHA requirements for worker safety from lightning. For further information, assistance, or custom OEM solutions, contact us at shoptalos.com.